Uh, thank you, Chair. Your Excellency, Mr. Abe Woldu, Tigre Regional President, and our gracious host, and our brother, Excellency, the Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, Honorable Chair of the Executive, His Excellency Simbarashi Mumbengengui, Excellencies, Ministers and Members of the Executive Council, the Members of the PRC, Dr. Hamdok from ECA, and Professor Nandosi from ACPF, and representatives of ADP and NEPART Agency, Executive Secretaries of Regional Economic Communities, Deputy Chairperson Erastus Mwenja, and fellow commissioners, um, officials from Capital, ladies and gentlemen. Two years ago, as we concluded the 50th anniversary of the OAU-AU, we met in retreat in the city of Paida to discuss the core responsibilities of this important organ, the Executive Council. It was then when I spoke about our dream of the Africa we want in the email from the future. Two years later, as we gather here in Makele, Tigray region, we can report that we have made some headway. As discussed at the retreat, we now have Agenda 2063 as our clarion call for action, supported by all sections of the African society. We are clear on the priorities of Agenda 2063, investing in our people, especially youth and women in agricultural modernization, agro-businesses in manufacturing and industrialization, the development of infrastructure and democracy and developmental governance, and silencing the guns. Our Agenda 2063 flagship projects such as free movement of people, the commodity strategy, the Pan-African Integrated High Speed Rail is taking off and should help towards our vision of an integrated, peaceful, and prosperous Africa driven by its own people and taking its rightful place in the world. Since we are in Tigray, I've been reading a bit about what's going on here that relates to Agenda 2063, and I've come to the conclusion that everything that's happening here is very much in line with Agenda 2063, the improving the livelihoods of the people, focusing on education and health, on agriculture, working together, and how we are even tackling the drought and the diversification of your economy through the development of light manufacturing, including pharmaceuticals, textiles, and through infrastructure development and many other things. I also had the privilege yesterday to visit some of the historic and archaeological sites in the region and felt very proud um, of this rich history of our ancient civilization. And I also visited the site at Negashi, which bears witness to the remarkable hospitality and tolerance that characterizes Ethiopia, the first to give sanctuary to the early um, Muslims when they fled from persecution elsewhere. This is the spirit of tolerance and Pan-Africanism that we must continue to practice as we celebrate in 2016 the Year of Human Rights with special focus on women. I would also like to thank the Zimbabwean artists who came up with that song on Agenda 2063. And I would like to challenge all of us in our countries to encourage the artists to come uh, up with as many songs as possible. Uh, but thanks very much to the Zimbabweans of course, as the chair of the union, they led from the front. Thank you. 
And with those few words, I would like to welcome you to the retreat. And again, thanks to our gracious host uh, from Tigre and Mekele. And thank you for the warm hospitality uh, that we received since we arrived and wish the retreat very successful, warm, frank, and friendly deliberations. Thank you.